Welcome back, gamers and gamettes, to another episode of Chased Living Through Video Games. I'm your host, BR Brainerd. Holy shit, is that a Wild Thief 4? It is. Now, I know one of you out there is saying, it's not called Thief 4, it's called Thief. But that would imply to me that this is the definitive game in the series, and oh my no. <laughs> but I'm hoping that that's because Thief 1 and 2 set the bar so high. So, what we're looking at right now is some of the custom difficulty settings, which is one of the very cool and unique features of this game. I don't really know why, but stealth-based games seem to attract a certain perfectionist mindset among gamers, and so not only are there three difficulties, but there's all these different things. Zero damage, you can slow down your movement, you can put all kinds of restrictions on your own gameplay to try and earn more points. So for all the flack that this game has been getting in the press, I actually think that this at least is a very good system. But I don't want to make you guys watch a lot of save and reload, so we're going to go with a normal difficulty for now, and we can adjust it up later if need be. There's one thing the city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Mm. Secrets, <clears throat> reputations, a life, and trust. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? You know, except for all the things I paid for in previous games. Love me some flash bombs. This is kind of a neat little room. Kind of reminds me of the beginning of Thief 2. Meanwhile, the smog outside is reaching Silent Hill proportions. Too much light. Let's make it a little more cozy in here. So as I'm sure many of you already know, they decided to replace the voice actor for Garrett in this game. The reason that they gave was that they needed a voice actor who could do stunts. Um, ooh, tread carefully. They needed a guy that could do stunts for the motion capture and make everything sync up, and nine times out of ten I'd have said go for it, but the voice of Garrett in the Thief series is probably the most iconic voice in all of gaming, no joke. Go back and listen to the previous uh, games if you haven't heard it before, because it's that good. It really is. So I think most of you will probably agree that they kind of shot themselves in the foot on that decision. And as we'll see, Garrett's character also kind of feels a little different than it was before. I do like the gold counter, though, and I like the fact that you can actually get things in closets like this. It was always kind of funny to me in the Hitman series where every closet would just be completely empty kind of begging the qu I mean, it's there for you to hide, of course, but it kind of begs the question, why do people own these things in the first place if nobody ever seems to use them? Well, okay, so there's just a lot of loot in here. Basically, just te trying to teach us to check everywhere for loot, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of it scattered in places, but the, uh, and difficult to find. But the major test for me, I think the, the strength of especially the first two Thief games wasn't the plot. It wasn't bad, but the thing that really stood out to me was the level design, and that's what a lot of people didn't like about... Whoa. It is kind of cool that you can see what's going on down in the square. This beginning is very, very reminiscent of Thief 2, and one of the things that it wasn't very good at, that old engine, was uh, rendering things at the bottom of the city. Alright, so i got to spam the E button to open this window. And Garrett finally got himself a crowbar. It's about time. So apparently, crossing that wooden beam has landed us in a new part of town. I gotta ask, why are there always so many wooden beams connecting windows in video games? Like, for the people that live in those houses, what purpose does the wooden beam serve? So we're now in Aldale, the rich district of the city, first introduced in Thief 3. And apparently it's all the rage for rich people to own Alarmo birds Someone's now. Someone's a bird lover. That painting's I should take a closer look. I can't imagine having a master thief operating with impunity for decades in the same city has made the nobles any less paranoid. Move the mouse or use the movement keys to feel for hidden switches. Kinda, what's the circle for? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it lit up. So that must be it. That's kinda cool. I've not seen that before. And then we have a lock to pick. <laughs> yeah, the lock picking system. It's funny, just about every stealth game I play has one, and they're all special snowflakes. Like, this is the one thing that they refuse to copy from each other. They all have different lockpicking minigames, and in this one, you just kind of move around until the, the meter lights up and left-click. It, it works just fine. Hello? Yes, Garrett, I think you would look very good in that. What the... What 
Well, they do call the rooftops the Thieves' Highway. I just hope that's not who I think it is. Ooh, a rope arrow. Candy Graham for the Master Thief. One wonders why a person would keep a rope arrow inside a jewelry box on the outside of their house, but I'm not an expert. I wonder how finicky rope arrows will be this time around. Hmm. I smell teenage angst. Aaron. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Garrett, now 40% more passive-aggressive. Basso did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. Oh, geez, well, I guess the music track is trying to tell us that this is serious business. Although, I do not see the business that is serious. Unless Garrett now takes impressing children seriously. Yeah, so apparently they've added a parkour system to Thief. What's that? I, I feel a disturbance in the force. As if a thousand Looking Glass fans suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. Ah, oh, the light gem. Same as before, the brighter it is, the easier you are to see. Pretty simple. All right, after you, walking Catwoman stereotype. Are you going to use any of those shadows, Lady Lamplight? I was just scouting her. I know you always like to go first. She mentioned Basso before. I hope he shows up in the flesh. He was a Basso was a guy you rescued from prison in Thief One. He showed up again in Thief Two. I think he was absent in Thief Three, but we'll see what they decide to do with him. Yoink! Anything down here? No, that's a video game dead end, if I ever saw one. You should get yourself one of these. See you on the other side. Looks like I won't be going that way. Hello, Chekhov's gun! Let's finish unloading before summer's day is over. Why not drink to a job well done first? Well, we're not going down there. Too much light. Oh, Jesus! Didn't see them there. Okay. Uh, can't get up there. At least there are plenty of side conversations in this game. Plenty to talk about here and not London. The little flash on the screen is a nice touch to know when you've walked into the light. So we just keep our heads down here. We seem to be going the right way. Given from the silence of ladder climbing, I would deduce that Garrett has finally given up wearing his trusty hard leather soled Garrett, shoes. Come on. Yeah, I'll be sure to hurry it right up for you, kid. Jealous of the claw? I made it myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. It's not about taking in the sights, Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. Spoken like a true World of Warcraft raider, huh? You do still steal, right? I've been stealing since before you could crawl. There's the Garrett I know. How about a friendly wager? Let's see who can take in the most. Sold. And the loser has to shut the fuck up about me buying them a new car. Huh. Oh yes, we must make our way across another inconspicuous beam. And, uh, thwap. Well, at least we found a use for the blackjack. I would imagine some of you might be quite upset about the addition of waypoints to Thief. I think you can turn them off. Look what I found. You and me out on the town? Why did we stop doing this again? Do you really need to ask? The last time those two went out together, she attached the claw to Garrett's wang and the other end to a train that was about to leave for Siberia. Apparently this place is called the Voyeur's Apartment. Is this guy just that publicly hold E to peer through door keyholes? Are they trying to be ironic? It's so half-assed I can't tell, SWAT. Yeah. Darkness, that's how YouTube likes it. It pays to keep a low profile in places where I'm not welcome. There's a lot of those places. Yeah, the sad truth is that when you're dressed like that, you have a hard time getting in almost everywhere. Except for maybe a bondage club. How do you protect against thieves in a place that mandates black leather? Well, I, I don't see any voyeurs. 
Still, we better tread carefully. I'm already mostly wearing a gimp suit. Let's peek over. Can't quite get around. Is that... Oh! I think I saw someone sitting down at that table. Probably staring out the window with a pair of binoculars. No. No, it was in fact a phonograph. This game will do that to you sometimes. And of course he has a spyglass. Ew. Hard to keep a secret in this... Yes, let's read his diary. I'm sure it will be very educational. Madam Flowers, relationship with watchguard continues. Mr. Question Mark. Mmm, a concealed wall safe with goodies, you say? I hope there are no thieves in my apartment who might read this and use it for exposition. I gotta say, the interface does look pretty slick. Is there anything over here? Empty. Crafty bastard. He tried to fool me with his bottom drawer hiding technique, but you can't stop Garrett, master thief. Ah yes, I am glad to know I am not the only one that keeps his silver goblets in a chest with my linens and rings. He has only one cup from which to drink in this entire apartment, and he keeps that glass in a trunk because while we have phonographs and radiators, holy shit, we do not have running water. This game is taking place in a very specific time period. I guess this guy probably has a vending machine with water arrows downstairs. The ever-present waypoint continuously nags me to move towards the next Catwomanly quip. If you're going to urinate in the street like a watchman, at least do it out of the light. Everybody can see you! <laughs> well, I can see why the voyeur chose this spot. Let's watch! Besides, you're the only one watching. Every day I'm reminded what a cat you were. <laughs> Come on, let's go try those gavel wings. I kind of wonder if Garrett ought to be better armed before breaking into houses like this and having no idea what's on the other side before going in. I mean, let's do an inventory check. Small crowbar. Ooh, careful around the alarmo bird. He's got a small crowbar. He can fire a rope at people, and he's got a tiny club that only works from behind. I know that it's supposed to be more about finesse than force, but smart thieves always have a backup plan. I would like one of his items, just one, to be like a minigun. Can I have a minigun? So how much did you steal? <laughs> it's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. I specialize in virginity. Bend over, please. Looks like this primal stone thing that Basso wants is in the ceremony room at Northcrest Manor. It's the Baron's mansion. Won't be easy. Worried? Yes, and so should you. I'll be fine. I'll pick up your slack. <sighs> this job's getting more complicated by the second. Not to mention this relationship is getting more stereotypical by the second. 